So Meg and I were discussing an unnamed YouTube channel that frequently features very high performance, loud jet engines and turbine jet engines. <clears throat> Ahem, the guys in New Jersey. Ahem, <clears throat> maybe you can figure that out. I happen to like his channel, but I want you to hear what Meg has to say about why she doesn't like his channel. Go ahead, beautiful Meg. Everything he does is loud and obnoxious. Do you remember what the Prius sounded like when the thief took our catalytic converter? Loud and obnoxious? Yes, well, did we choose for someone to steal that from us? But it's not possible to put an exhaust system onto a turbine engine without destroying its power you also output. You don't need to put seven jet engines on the back of your car. But seven is a magic number. It's the number of days in a week that some jerk came up with a long time ago, even though our number system is base 10. <coughs> Why is there 24 hours in a day and not 100 or 10? It just doesn't make sense, does it? It is what it is. We just have to roll with it. Kind of like our genome, that we got what we got. You got a really cute one. Meg got a cute, beautiful DNA set. And she's beautiful inside in her personality and character too. That's the best part. And it reflects in her outer beauty, even when she says condescending mean things about some YouTubers. I don't have to like every YouTube channel. And they don't have to like other people either. I don't need to be everyone's favorite. God tells us to love our neighbor. He doesn't say we have to like everybody. There's Amen. Difference. That's true. We might, we might not naturally like everybody, but we can love people with God's help, whether they're our favorite person or someone that they're, is not our favorite person. And not everybody can be our favorite, and we can't be everything to everyone. Oh, that's unrealistic. Only God can be everything that... Well, okay, but... And everything that is good. He is... Exactly. We're just waking up, so... We didn't even drink coffee this morning. We had Zip Fizz. What do you think of the Zip Fizz, Meg? As long as it's watered down enough, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty, it was on sale at Costco. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to Blake and Amanda Miller because it was when we drove all the way to Michigan and stayed with them for a little while that we learned about Zip Fizz from Amanda. It would be cheaper to not like Zip Fizz. But it's a multivitamin mixed with caffeine that tastes like fruit when you mix it with water. Isn't that nifty? It's fruit and it's sugar-free or low sugar? I don't know. Yeah, it's low calorie. Because <coughs> I have to keep up my girlish figure, you know. Meg's playing with her recently updated iPhone 12 I'm mini. texting my dad. Well, we're coordinating with Alan in order to meet up with him for lunch later. All right, that about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.